So I made a video and it was pretty much me bitching and crying. I just didn't like it. So I'm doing this again. Um, I just want to say congratulations to Alabama on going to the final four. I wish we I wish we traded places and we were going to the final four. It's, it, it stings, man. It, it really stings. I mean, it absolutely stings when you get this far and you're one win away from the final four. We were going to go. And I was getting very mad. And my dad was like, well, I have to apologize. Sorry for cussing so much and yelling at the TV and getting very upset. Um, but it was like, hey, you care. And that's right. I do care about this team more than y'all ever know. I never, and that's one of the reasons. I mean, I watch my family uh, every single game. Usually my dad or some friends, maybe, you know, sibling or whatever. I care so much. I love this team, man. I love them. So much. I'm there for almost every single game. You know, basketball game, I'm watching 25, 26 out of the 30 games they play in the regular season. Of course, I'm watching all the postseason games. I haven't missed a football game forever. I mean, NBA, P, I'm not watching every single game, but I watch every single playoff. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. I love this team. That's the point I'm trying to say. It just hurts me when I'm just going to think about it. We were one win away from witnessing Clemson in the Final Four. One win away from going to Phoenix with my dad and all that. And, you know, I don't even care if we're going to lose to 40 by UConn, but it hurts, man. I also wanted to soak in the loss. I didn't want to I didn't want to upload that video of me crying. All right. Let's get into the game now. Like, that dude from Alabama that was in the corner of all those three-point shots. Let's just be real. How how He was shooting like 29% all season, and then he has a magnum ball three-point game. That dude is going to show up in the damn Final Four and go 0 for 7. I just just our damn luck. That damn magnet ball, man, pisses me off. This magnet ball ruins my sport. Ruins my love for the game, man. Golly, I fucking hate these magnet balls. I love them like dark black magic. Do it good at two sports. In the Final fucking Four, in football and basketball, this fucking black magic! They made a deal. <sighs> J.P. Sears or whatever the heck his name is. Jamal Sears. I don't know his name. So is it J.P. Sears, Jamal Sears, Books and Sears, Siri, whatever. It was on fire. Yeah, I, I, I literally walked out of the damn room when he hit that damn shot from half court. I was like, are you kidding me? And I, yeah, he practices 153 degrees. Great. Congratulations. Every, every single player try, uh, practices. Okay. And then... Pringle chips, man. Got a, got. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna come on here blaming the refs, but he got a lot of foul calls. It made me mad. But man, we didn't put a body on him. I don't know. It was like we'd get beat off the dribble, and then Shifflin would have to pick up, and then there comes the dude, and he's yeah. You know, we didn't lose because that North Dakota State guy. He did nothing. He I mean, he had a couple of dunks, but he didn't do anything in this game. He did nothing in this game all game. He was in foul trouble. Pisses me off, man. Pisses me off. We had chances. But we also could have said he lost this game with three-point shots. We weren't making our threes, at least not in the first half. And we could have. And here's the most frustrating part. We were up by 13 points. And then Chauncey Wiggins started chucking shit up. Chauncey was horrible. I I, I would be happy if he transferred. I'm not going to lie. He was terrible. And then they got the momentum back, and they, that just woke him up. I don't know what happened, man. I don't know what happened. A 13-point lead, but I think um, they were the better team. It wasn't like they... But it just it just hurts, man. You should have kept your you should have just kept playing, and we just couldn't keep playing. And it hurts, it hurts. Um, but the free throw game killed us. I mean, Jack Clark got that steal. Uh, Jack Clark is a great defensive player. Don't don't get me wrong. Like he's a great defensive player. He has no offensive game. He sucks. I mean he he is nowhere near Hunter Tyson. But he was supposed to be the Hunter Tyson. He sucks. I mean, I mean his offensive game sucks. He's a great defensive player. Yeah, he can make a three, but he sucks. He can't score anything offensively. Did NC State win the trade? I don't know. Shout out Joe Girard. He, he didn't play well in the first half, but he put it on the second half. He gave everything on the line. What a career for Joe Girard, man. Syracuse, a couple of years. I think, he made a, I think he made a Sweet 16. I remember him saying in an interview he wanted to get back to the Sweet 16. He did that. He got to the Elite Eight. I hate that he couldn't witness the Final Four. He's a hell of a player. Um, he'll probably be overseas somewhere or something like that. Um, no matter how the haters are going to say, the people that booed him, he's a hell of a player. 
And he only spent one year here, but I'm going to miss him. P.J. Hall. He, he played terrible in this tournament. Let's just, let's just go ahead and say it. He played terrible in this tournament. He was nowhere to be found in game in the, in the, in the round of 64 and 32. He played a little bit better in the Sweet 16, but he turned it over. Missing free throws tonight. He did not play good again. Fouled out again. I'm sick and tired of fouling out and missing free throws. But listen, he was a hell of a player. He's going to get drafted, I think. If Hunter Tyson got drafted, P.J. Hall should get drafted. I think he'll be a middle or second. I think he'll be around 40, maybe high 30s, low 40s. He'll get drafted, though. I have no doubt in my mind he'll get drafted. Thank you, P.J., for a great career. I mean, look, the tournament, the last couple games, doesn't describe the year you had. You had an amazing year. ACC first team. You were a hell of a player. I'm glad you were able to get to the tournament and have a and, and be part of this team. We love you, P.J., and uh, stop by soon for next season. For R.J. Godfrey, I'm ready to unleash this guy. I think this guy's going to be good next year. I think R.J. Godfrey's the real deal. And Chase, I hope Chase comes back, man. He has another year. He's got the COVID year. And I don't really know where he's going to go. I think Chase should come back. Shifflin's going to come back. I've seen some dumbass UNC fans talking about they're getting Hall and Shifflin. What? What? And in, in, in the rosters of NBA and of college hoops 2K8 in, in downloaded rosters? That's the only way you're getting them. What are you talking about? We're better than you. We went to the Elite Eight. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, anyway, I think I've, I think I've made my career. I didn't really talk trash. I'm just here to make this post game video. I'm not, not like I talk trash. I'm just heartbroken, bro. But I will say this. I told my dad this before he went to bed. I'm excited for the future of this team. I think we could finally turn this thing around. Elite Eight. I expect that Brad to land some big transfers because we went to the Elite Eight. We're so successful. And you know what? We, we, it's not like we made this run with seniors. P.J. Hall didn't play that great. Shifflin's going to be back. I think, hopefully, Chase Hunter's back. If Chase Hunter's back, that's a huge blow. No drawer missing is going to hurt, but we could go out and get a shooter, a nice shooting guard. We could get a good Jack Clark replacement, unleash Godfrey. We just need to get a nice wing and a nice shooter. We we'll get some nice. We have the top twenty-five recruiting class. Like, I'm excited for the future of this program. This is going to. We finally might be transitioning to something that we have been waiting for forever, with Brad Brownell. And I think Brad Brownell deserves his flowers. He's a really good coach. I know half our fans hate him because he only has four tournaments in fourteen years. But he's getting better by the minute. He outcoached Scott Drew. He outcoached the Arizona coach. He yeah, he coached Circles team. And if Bama wasn't on their three-point game, if we would have made our free throws, we might have won. But we didn't. It just hurts, man. It just hurts. It just hurts. And the thing is, we came so far. And it's like, we well, wonder if we're ever going to get back here. It's tough, man. It's tough. And I think we can get back here. If we just got to really play our game, we got to but, you know, part of the time was getting lucky. Like, maybe Baylor was one of the worst three seeds. Arizona was a bad two seed. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, this is a crazy run. I'll never forget it, man. Four tournament wins. Or, no, three tournament wins, I saw. We won three tournament games. I'm sure in the summer this year, I'll be watching, re, 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 uh, re watching this magical run. We never made a final four, man. Maybe one day we will. There's a couple things on my sports bucket list. I want to, and one of them is to see a final four. If you really want the bucket lists, you can I'll make a video about it. But final four is on my bucket list. And I said it'd be one of the most least likely things. And we were so close. Just needed to be out in one more time. We beat them in the regular season, we just couldn't beat them today. It would have beat him. That damn magnet ball wouldn't, wouldn't have happened. I hate that damn magnet ball ruining my sport. I'm incredibly sad. And I'm going to bed. So, anyway, I'm going to upload this video. And then, hopefully, I woke up and Clemson won or something. I don't know. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying anymore. 
Well, it was fun while it lasted, wasn't it, guys? It was fun while it lasted. But, um, off-season time is here, so let's go in that portal, Brad. And uh, let's get ready to reload for 2024, 25. What a season it was, man. What a season it was. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. People counted us out in the first round against New Mexico. We beat their ass. Then people said we wouldn't beat Baylor. We shocked the world, beat Baylor. And then people said we'd lose to Arizona by 20 or something. Shocked the world, beat Arizona. And we came so far, man. So far. Fuck you, John Ronstein, for picking us. Or whoever picked us. Somebody picked us that was hating on us all damn tournament. And... Fuck you. Yeah, curse. Yeah, yeah. I, the media is so happy Clemson lost. I mean, they they do not want to talk about Clemson basketball. I mean, one of the most disrespected teams all damn tournament. They hate us. So they're happy as hell that we're going. It is what it is, man. Who am I cheering for? I, I don't really care. Uh, hopefully you come because I have them in my winning my bracket, I guess. Not because they're playing Alabama. Well, I guess it made me feel a little bit better that they got the doors right off. I was like, oh, we got the doors right off. But whatever, though. Whatever. All right. Okay, I'm going to upload this video now, so yeah. It hurts, but you know what? It hurts. It stings. But you know what? This this Clemson basketball program is going in the right direction. All right? So it does hurt, but I think there's hope for this basketball program. They were dead to right a couple years ago, like 16 and 16 in 2020. Very bad. Sitting on like a 10 seed. But, um. Now we're back, man. We had a couple good years last year. We should have made the tournament. We didn't. And then this year, what a run it was. So proud of this team. All right, y'all. It hurts, man, but the season's over.